based on what we've already said regarding putting, you know, headliners in TV series mm -hmm. and the success mm -hmm. of doing so, that Paradise Lost, because there's really nobody, just characters, just building on lore and, and, and giving us a lot of exposition, that Wonder Woman will now be introduced because... It's what's working and it can work. And if you want this to work, we have to have these characters already have a fan base so that when we go to the movies, there is this abundance of people wanting to see what happens with this storyline that is all somewhat interconnected. 100%. And I think the timing is important, right? Because if this show comes out in 2026, and I'm going to submit by 2026, I'm going to take a wild guess that Penguin season two will happen. They will give Farrell the money. And they're looking at the numbers right now, how much interest this has increased in the Batman and everything around this. And they're going to say, we want season two to lead into the Batman part two. I'm going to take a stab at maybe we get that put into place, which means you could have Penguin season two and Lanterns coming in 2026. And then the Batman part two comes in the fall of that year. I think those things could all have a halo effect in terms of profitability, viewership, box office, what have you. Paradise Lost is probably not coming until 2027 or 2028. You're also at that point, Supergirl has already come out. So you're not upstaging her by doing this. And I think they're going to be looking at that and saying, wait, we might have a template here. We might have a template for a number of heroes and people actually get, there's actually more eyeballs getting on it this way than there are doing it just right to the big screen. And they've got, like I said, they have a Themyscira show. That's the thing is they're working on it. They've just started writing it. James Gunn confirmed it's still happening, but it's a slow burn. Like, it's not like they're like, if they were already at the starting blocks, fine, then it would happen as it is. But they're so early in the process. I think they're going to build this show out. Landers comes out, blows up, and is a massive show and is starting to get awards, attention, all that sort of stuff. I think that question is going to be asked of, we have this Themyscira show. It's a good template. You know what is missing? The lead. It's missing the new Wonder Woman. And why don't we introduce her here and launch her into the big screen as well? Because I don't want that same sort of intro that we got in Dawn of Justice. You know what I'm saying? I don't want it to have that same feel. I want to know even though we knew, because we yeah. already saw, saw her movie, but there was an actress attached to it that people already sort of knew and, 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 and seen her work and were wondering. Uh, but with this, again, having seen the Penguin and what perhaps Green Lanterns will be, they will, uh, we would hope they will recognize the pattern and, and, and sort of build again, Brian, towards that big event when the Justice League does arrive on screen. Absolutely. And to me, like one of the things that I think TV would allow you to do in this case that I think would be interesting since they're setting it in Themyscira and they're telling you this is a Themyscira show, make it more mythological. Like why, why can't we, why can't Diana be in the show, but like have the storylines be about fighting Ares, like have the storylines fight, not Ares as we saw him in the movie, but like, yeah, yeah, yeah. you know, have the gods be a part of the show and make it more like, hey, I'm looking at an ancient Greek mythology show. It just happens to have the Amazons and Wonder Woman at the center of it. And I'm not even worried yet about her having the lasso and the bracelets and the, the, the red and blue. Like that's down the road. That's for the big screen. Save that for the big screen. But have her in the show. Have her be the lead of the show and be like, these are, this is what they were doing before the world discovered Themyscira. I think it works. I mean, you can do it, but you can't do that in a movie because in a movie it has to be like five minutes because you got to get to, you know, Wonder Woman. But in TV, you could do a season like that and just have it be, you know, sword and sandals, but just involving these characters, but have her in it. I think if you have her in it, it, it totally changes the trajectory of the show. And I think it can really help the character because I think it's really going to help Aaron Pierre. Yeah. Uh, let us know in the comment section below what you guys think of that idea. Uh, Brian, anything else in the DC world that you want to discuss before we move on? Well, it's just a little one. James Gunn. Teaser's coming. He let, they, he, he let it slip on. Someone asked him about, are we going to see it 
like this fall, I think was someone asked him about this fall and he gave uh -huh. the thinking man's emoji. So I think we're getting it. Getting it when though? Like in the next couple of weeks? Yeah, like soon, soon. That would be, like, oh, wow. him, for him to respond to it to me indicates it is done. Yeah. He's kind of saying like, I've got it. Like it's here. It's, yeah. Brian, we gotta, we gotta, we gotta do this. We gotta try <laughs> to not watch it and give a real reaction to this uh, trailer because we've been waiting for this, Brian. And then we go into our discussion about what we saw. Yep. Let us know in the comments below what you guys think of that idea.